everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Catherine and I make videos all about sustainability and wellness. Today's video is another addition to my Entering Minimalism series in which I'm going to be covering the last category of the KonMari method, which is sentimental items. If you want to know more about the KonMari method, then I will link my old declutter my wardrobe video over here so you can learn more about how I like to implement that when I am minimizing my items. So I've been saving this last little section of sentimental items for a few years now, just kind of putting it away and not really thinking about it. So yeah, it's quite a large box that we're going to be dealing with, but we're gonna be all right. The first thing that I wanna say is you do not have to clear out your sentimental items if you don't want to. Like I've said before, minimalism means different things to different people. Only clear these things out if you do want to free up your space. And just because you are clearing out sentimental items doesn't mean you have to clear out all of them. I just know for me that I want to live a life where I am free to move and I don't have to carry loads of things with me. I also don't want to burden my parents with all of the stuff, so for me, personally I like to go through my sentimental items, thank them for their time, think about the memories and then move on. Another thing that sparked this video for me today is thinking about everything that's been going on in the recent months. The more things that I can donate to charity, it might actually help spark joy in other people's children. Holding on to these things is not going to actually benefit me but I think to give away a toy to a child who's going to play with it, love it, enjoy it, I think that's more important right now to me than having them stored away in a box. Another thing you can do if you do want to cut down on your sentimental items but you don't want to completely get rid of them is you can take photos of them. I will link the video below but I believe it was Matt Devella who said that they actually have photo albums with pictures of different items that have different memories. So that's another really great option if you do want to cut down on items but you still want to have those visual reminders of them. Let's get on with it's also made me think about all the balloons that are just never gonna biodegrade and it scares me. I don't want to throw it out because I don't want to put it in landfill. <sighs> Manufacturers have a lot to answer for. <laughs> box now I'm just going to separate them into keep donate and throw away okay so my final decisions have been made so let me show you what I've decided I'm still not sure what I'm going to do with that Barbie doll, but I'm going to have a look online, see if anyone else collects them, maybe I could give it to someone that actually collects Barbies, but for now I'm going to keep hold of that one and see what I can do with it. So yeah, very successful. That box can now be given to someone else because I don't need it anymore, but I'm actually really pleased with it, I didn't get too emotional. <laughs> Uh, we made really good progress, there's a box empty and that's all my sentimental items dealt with now and I'm so relieved. So now I'm just going to take pictures of all of the things and then I can pop them on my hard drive and deal with them and go through them and see which ones I want to keep. But just so I never experience regrets because there are a few things that I threw out the first time around I did my sentimental items that I do regret getting rid of like things with people's signatures on cards from grandparents that aren't here anymore so I, I did learn the lesson the hard way with that one so I'm going to take a picture of everything that I have here I'm 
Okay, so that is all of my sentimental items now sorted and I've made decisions on all of the pieces, what I'm going to do with them. I'm so happy. Honestly, going through those items have really boosted me up and it's actually been a really nice thing to do while we're stuck inside. So I'd really recommend you do the same if you want to bring back some nice memories and think of better times. There are so many things that made me so happy as a child that I now know I can give to another child and make them so happy. Yeah. My heart's feeling very full and I'm very happy. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I will be covering the rest of the Marie Kondo topic, so if you do really enjoy declutter with me videos then make sure that you've subscribed and if you did like the video then give it a thumbs up because it helps other people find my channel. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey of decluttering all of my sentimental items. I hope that you have a lovely day and I will see you next week on Sunday. Bye.